Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, December 30th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, this is the last podcast of uh, the year and, well, uh, no real big news today. So I'll keep it short and let's get started with what we have here at uh, the Internet Storm Center Diary. Jan took another look at the ability of users on a system uh, to get directory listings of folders to which they don't have access to. And, well, the tool he turned to here are antivirus engines. So Jan took a look at 25 uh, different antivirus tools. Uh, Now eight of those tools did not allow a user to initiate a scan for a directory that the user didn't have access to, but the others did allow access uh, to those folders and then released uh, file names. Again, no content of the files, just the file names themselves, but it's uh, actually a common problem. We have talked about this here uh, many times in the past, antivirus engines have to run with elevated privileges so any kind of vulnerability in an antivirus engine then quickly becomes a privilege escalation and this is probably uh, the most minor one of the ones that could potentially happen. Jan did notify antivirus vendors and uh, all but two actually considered that intentional behavior and the two remaining ones did actually fix this problem or scheduled a fix for a future update. And one of the things that we have sort of seen off and on this year is malware written in Go. Now, the Go language, of course, is sort of one of the up and coming uh, languages that developers are using. And yes, uh, malware writers are, of course, uh, catching up uh, with this trend. Latest example is security company in Teaser uh, found some malware that does install uh, crypto coin miners. And of course, uh, with anti-malware engines being a little bit behind in the Golang trend, uh, none of uh, the 62 virus total antivirus engines did recognize this sample as malicious. The initial entry, very standard. It's credential spraying against things like uh, MySQL, Tomcat, Jenkins, and then of course, trying out a WebLogic vulnerability. So really nothing sophisticated by any means, but still uh, anti-malware will fail you here. And sticking with uh, the trend of uh, bypassing antivirus detection, a little bit an older blog by Trend Micro describes a credential stealer that they found that's written in auto hotkey. Auto hotkey, one of those scripting languages that you can install on Windows. And well, uh, the real intent of the language is to sort of create the keyboard shortcuts and the like in itself, not malicious, but it can be used to create the compiled .exe files. So basically have a standalone executable. And just like with Golang, uh, antivirus uh, detection is somewhat behind here and often not detecting this. In this particular case, the executable was then used uh, to actually steal credentials. Well, and that's it for today and for this year. Thanks a lot for listening. And as usual, the reason I do these pretty much every day of the year is because people are listening. So let your friends know, uh, leave some good reviews with whatever podcast service you are using. And thanks and talk to you again next year. Bye.